What's going on guys? This is Subum Saint bringing you another review this week and this week we're going to take a look at the Asmodus Minikin 120 watt temp control. So, retails for about 80 bucks. You might be able to find it a little bit cheaper. This does utilize the GX120 chip which is supposed to save your battery about 15 to 30 percent over you know your average do 18650 mods can't do stainless steel in temp mode but you can do it in wattage mode bummer but comes in a variety of colors as you guys can see i have a black version you can get a tiffany blue version like a frozen blue version red normal blue I've even seen it in white and gold so definitely got your color options now, it is a rubberized finish, you know how Segeli 150 temp control was, or the Fuchai, or however it was, it's a rubberized finish, which I really, really like. I really have come to like the rubberized finish, because it seems to be more durable than just, you know, just the painty, glossed paint finish, so that's definitely a pro to me. I definitely like that, you know, it is a rubberized finish It actually turned into my go to work mod i've been taking this to work with me a lot so even when i was doing the 10 hour shifts the battery life did last me and i vape at 70 watts and i vape a lot i vape a lot while i'm there so anyways guys without me babbling on a little bit more let's get down to the nitty and the gritty Packaging that the Asmodus Minikin 120 watt comes in. Not too bad. 18 plus. Got their Asmodus logo. Pretty cool little cloud. Cloud, bruh. Here's your specifications. If you guys want to pause the video, check it out. So, without further ado, let's open it up. As you can see, your device sits right here. We will give to that. Patience is a virtue. Here is your uh, user manual. Pretty detailed, not too shabby. Then your warranty card. 30 day warranty card. And battery safety guys. I like that companies are put, starting to put that in there. That's definitely a plus. Definitely make sure your batteries are up to par. Now, let's get on to the mod here. As you guys can see, it's a little, nice little rubberized finish. Got there is Modus logo here. Little grooves here. Gunmetal buttons. Like a gunmetal buttons. I think this one looks like a smiley face. See it? See it? <laughs> Sorry. Still a little bit of kid of me, guys. Battery ventilation here. And spring load at 510. So, slide this battery door off. Probably should have took the batteries out before I did all this, but I didn't. So, anyways, here's the battery door. Apparently, you guys can interchange these. If you got a red one, you pop the red one on there. So, these little grooves right here, it is not magnetic. It don't have magnet. Those little grooves sit right here on these little grooves. And I gotta admit, it's pretty snug. You do not have to worry about it coming off. So, that's definitely a plus. This is definitely high quality. I don't have to worry about it breaking. And here is the battery sled here. As you can see... Positive here, negative here, positive here, negative here. These are spring loaded. This is pretty durable plastic right here, so you do not have to worry about that breaking either. It is pretty tough. I mean, you're going to have to like sledge that across the room if you want to, <laughs> if you really want to test it. So, let me put my batteries here. Batteries are very easy to take in and out. Batteries will fall out. If you shake it too much, obviously I don't have much room to shake here, but it will fall out. Just keep that in mind. And we slide this back on. Let me walk you guys through the menu screen. 
Alright guys, five clicks, turn it on. And as you can see, it's in temp mode. I've been doing a lot of playing around with this thing. So let me switch it back to power mode. So, as you guys can see, wattage here, your volts here, ohms, and battery meter. Pretty simple, pretty simple. Now, in order to get in the menu screen, you have to click five times. One, two, three, four, five. And then you go through the menu screen, push the fire button to navigate through, and the up down button to make your selection. So you can change your brightness all the way down to none to 10. Your exchange will flip the color of your screen. I like it like that. Exit the menu screen, turn it off. Now, nickel, titanium, and back to power mode. So let me show you guys the nickel mode here. So, as you can see, you can change your wattage. In order to change your temperature, hold the up and the down button. As you can see, it will flicker. Hey, hey. There we go. Push the up and the down button here. Come on now, work with me. That'll flicker to put you in wattage here. Do it again, put it in the temp mode. And there you guys go. Very, very simple navigation screen. It is not very hard to deal with at all. Now, let me go back to my wattage mode here. Now, in order to lock keep it prevent it from firing what I do is it's a up button and a fire button to lock it but it always goes in 0.1 and it goes up 0.1 to lock it so what I do before I lock it is I go down one watt or 0.1 and then lock it that way whenever I unlock it it's back at my wattage other than that guys not really much here to report with you guys I really like their logo. Their logo is pretty legit. But anyways, we will go back, talk about the pros and the cons here, and vape on it. Smiling back at you. Alright guys, that was the nitty and the gritty of the Asmodus Minikin 120 watt. Now, overall, let's get over the pros and the cons here. Overall, I really, really enjoy this device. It has been really nice. I really love the rubberized finish, the big button. I actually like that it saves battery power. Uh, I like how small it is. It fits perfectly in your hand. And I got little itty bitty claws here, so just keep in mind that. So, I love the screen. The menu system's easy to navigate through. Now, my cons here. Cons I have here is that there is no stainless steel in temp control mode. That is a bummer to me and there is no USB port for firmware upgrades so you can't really change that. What you get is what you got. So that is definitely a bummer to me. Uh, I would have liked to have seen them do that a little bit differently. But other than that, everything I've screwed on here has made a connection, has fired, sits flush, all that so I cannot complain too much here I get a good vape off of it now the battery life that it chipped here that's supposed to save it 15 30 percent it does work it does I, I've taken it with me on my 10 hour shifts when I was doing overtime and by the end of the night I would have a little bit under a halfway battery so that is definitely a plus to me I mean Whenever you, you're at work for long hours or something and you want to vape, I think a lot of people need to really dive into a chip that will utilize your battery, save your battery, all that good stuff. So, yeah. Uh, weird thing about it, though, is about when you get to the halfway mark of vaping on it, it kind of seems like it drops off in power a little bit. Like, just, just, just a smidget just a smidget it's not much just a smidget so eh, it's not bad i really like it it's lasted me it's 
really actually turned into a really good work mod or anything like that. I really like the looks of it. The finish is not scratched. I've screwed on multiple atomizers on here and I do not have a scratch on the device at all. So I really think that's pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about that. I really think a lot of people should, well, I guess it does have a little bit of wear. Just, just, just a little bit, but not as much. I really wish, like, a lot of companies would, like, make a bigger, you know, like a connector thing, you know, 510, because that way you don't scratch the paint on your mind. I mean, but what are you going to do? So, anyways, guys, that was the nitty and the gritty. Now, before I go, I will be doing another video on Saturday, guys. Ain't you guys excited? So... Before I go, talk to you guys about battery safety. Battery safety is key here. Do not be walking around with your batteries in your pocket with keys, change, any of that. Put it in a case, guys. Just, just put it in a case right here. You know, you just plop it in here and you put your batteries right in yonder and then you just close it and then bam. You go on about your day. Sorry, my, my, my notebook fell, so... Trying to catch it. Reflexes, guys. Reflexes. But anyways, pick these up. I will put a link in the description on where you guys can get these. We got to be more safe than what we have been. So, till then, guys, I will see you guys Saturday. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys for the next round of the Nitty and the Gritty.